In continuing coverage, a proposal to build a wind farm in southern Burley and northern Emmons County was dealt another blow this evening. KX News reporter Robert Sir was at tonight's meeting of the Burley County Commission and joins us now with the details of what happened. Yeah, Lauren, Peony Wind has been trying for months to get approval on a special use permit. They want to put up over 70 wind turbines. But after tonight's decision by the Burley County Commission, those hopes may be on life support. It was another packed house during Monday evening's meeting of the Burley County Commission, but in the end, those wearing the red shirts were the ones who walked out of the Bismarck City County building with their heads held high. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Armstrong? Aye. Woodcock? Yes. Peluso? Yes. Bittner? No. Motion carried. That was the vote Monday evening by the Burley County Commission denying PNE Wind's application for a special use permit to construct over 70 wind turbines in southern Burley and northern Emmons County. PNE had also requested the commission direct the Burley County Planning and Zoning Commission to do several things, including allowing written expert testimony refuting statements made during a nearly five hour meeting on December 5th. But the commission denied those requests on the basis that they don't have the power to do such things. The county's uh, attorney, the state's attorney, advised them to send this back to the planning and zoning board uh, because there were some obvious holes in the process that, that was done, uh, and they decided not to do that tonight. So I think they've left themselves open uh, to uh, uh, you know, not having conducted a, a fair process. Another issue raised Monday night by Burley County Building official Ray Ziegler is that the National Weather Service has issues with the height of the turbines, saying they would interfere with radar operations. Those fighting the project from the start say this is a rare victory for the little guy. You know, our team and our group actually took a very conservative approach from a legal perspective. Um, we let the process work and we were very pleased with how things turned out. Uh, the commissioners you know, went with the will of the people and we're very glad that it turned out that way. But Timmons tells me Burley County is missing the bigger picture with the project. It's slated to, to generate over a million dollars a year in new property taxes to Burley and Emmons counties. Uh, it'll also generate over a million dollars a year to these host landowners that are out here as well, who are mostly farmers and ranchers, who have decided for themselves that this is what they want to do for this project. So this is a, a terrible decision for economic development in Burley County. Now the main question is, is this battle over? It's not. In fact, commissioners and the assistant state's attorney this evening all conceded the fact that p &E will most likely take the county to court in a lawsuit or appeal tonight's decision to district court. So we've certainly got a long way to go, Lauren. Oh, we do. Robert Sir reporting live. Thank you so much. Leaving your car on while waiting for it to 